Stand on up and join me for a quick movement break. Today we're gonna to start with half squats. Stand with your feet about hip width apart or so, toes face forward or maybe slightly out. You're gonna push your hips back as if you're gonna sit down, knees come to about 45 degrees, and then stand back up. So typically squats, we go down a little bit lower, but today we're just gonna do a half version. So go ahead and join me. We'll do half squats for about 30 seconds or so. So push the hips back, knees bend about 45 degrees, push through your heels to come back up to stand. So getting some movement through the lower body to start with here. Let's go for about 10 more seconds. So a few more of our half squats. Make sure you're pushing the hips back, push through your heels to stand. Last one. Awesome. Next on up, some basic shoulder rolls. Draw the shoulders up towards your ears, draw them back and down. So those half squats were for our lower body, and now some basic shoulder rolls. Just start to loosen up through that upper body. If you've been in front of the computer or a screen most of the day so far, hopefully this is helping to loosen up any of those tight muscles in your shoulders, your chest, your upper back. Let's do two more. Last one. Awesome, next up, dynamic side bend. Raise that right arm up to the ceiling, lean to the left, come back down through center, and then same thing, other side. And at your own pace, alternate from one side to the other. So reach up and lean, and then go in the opposite direction. So some more movement through your upper body, and also starting to get a nice stretch down the side body here. Almost there with this one. Let's do one more each side. Last one. Perfect. All right, we're gonna come into a high knee march. So you're gonna go ahead, march it on out, lift one knee and then the other knee. You lift the, those knees as high as you feel comfortable. Okay, maybe it's down a little bit lower. Maybe you get those knees to about hip height. Maybe you get them to belly button height and swing those arms as you lift those knees. Give me about 10 more seconds. And if you want to add a little skip to it, feel free. You can add a little skip for three, two, and one. All right, instead of lifting the knees up, we're kicking those heels back. So kick those heels back towards your glutes. Give me about 30 seconds. Heels kick back and do whatever you want with those arms. I naturally swing my arms forward and back as I do these glute kicks. Keep it going. Give me about 10 more seconds. Maybe you speed it up a little bit. Heels go back for five, four, three, two, and one. All right, next up, side step. You're just gonna take a step from one side to the other side. If you wanna add a little hop, feel free. Add a little hop, okay? You're just stepping side to side for about 30 seconds. Keep it going. You can speed it up if you want. You can make that step bigger if you want. 10 more seconds. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Interlace those hands behind your back. Straighten your arms, squeeze those shoulder blades together, and go ahead, just breathe. Let that heart rate come down from those knee lifts, glute kicks, side steps. Now we're just stretching through your chest. So hands are interlaced, straighten those arms, then take a few nice big breaths in and out, less than 10 seconds. Three, two, and one, release the arms. Let's come into a forward fold. Hinge from the hips, just a gentle bend in your knees. You're just gonna reach those palms down. Reach them as far as is comfortable for you. Once you feel that stretch in the back of your legs and your hamstrings, go ahead, just hold there. All right, and as you start to loosen up, maybe you start to notice you can go down a little bit further. Once you find that spot, just hold there. Less than 10 seconds. Forward fold, keep that nice flat back. Three, two, and one. Nice and slowly, inhale your way back up. And our last 
last stretch is a neck stretch. Tilt that left ear over that left shoulder. Close your eyes. Relax into this stretch. Get that nice stretch down the side of your neck here. And feel free to play around with the angle of your chin. If you feel the stretch better with a different angle of that chin, make that adjustment. All right, but a few more seconds on this side. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So right ear over that right shoulder. Keep those shoulders down and relaxed. And feel free, close those eyes. Breathe into that stretch. This is our last movement stretch of this break. Thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully you feel better already for moving and stretching a little bit. Let's go for about five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Bring that head up through center. And let's wrap on up with one big inhale and exhale. So inhale those arms up, exhale them down. And there you go. You moved, you stretched, you took a stand for your health.